All right, I'm in Gotham. We're gonna go over to my uh, farming spot. First, we're gonna take care of this node right here because it's right outside the nightclub, which means it's a guaranteed uh, credit. I don't have to worry about a hero coming by. It's just simply too close to the nightclub. Not that heroes are a problem or nothing like that. It doesn't matter what faction you are. Um, if two factions go to the same node, only one faction is gonna get credit, and I don't want to have to fight for credit. Now, if you're doing PvP, then go ahead. That's just it's open game for anybody. But uh, when you're on the PVE server, it's considered bad form or a dick move to fight for credit. If you see one faction going at a node, you go to a different one. That being said, um, and I, I'm just gonna put this out here and put it to rest. There are dicks on both hero and villain side, so don't start saying that it's all heroes or it's all villains, because it's it's not a faction that is dick. It's the human, it's the, I want to say it's the human community. It is the human instinct. It is the way people want to play the game. They're on both sides. Trust me. People have heroes and villain characters. I play mostly hero side, but I do have villain characters too. It's on both sides. It's not just villains or dicks or heroes or dicks. At the same time, I'm also reasonable. Let's, everyone knows this to be a fact. If you're on PlayStation, I, I don't know about PCs, but if you're on PlayStation US servers, there are more heroes than there are villains. That being said, there tend to be more dicks that are hero side. But there are the same amount of dicks on villain side. It just looks like there's more dicks on hero side because you see lots of heroes everywhere. Anyway. We're at the season of no now over here. Um, as I was saying, I, I right here at the railroad tracks, I stop here to just do my farming because if I go up the street, I'll be right at the rally point for hero side, and this is my farming area. So let's begin. Um, I'm pretty much going to show you every single type of no there is, and we'll go from there. When you're fighting these guys and you're trying to get help this seed to grow, what you want to do is you want to do as much damage as you can because these guys are not going to sit by and let you just, uh, you know, cultivate that plant. So take it out and go back to what you're doing. Loosely, there's two of these guys, so it's kind of weird that there's only one here right now, but oh well. If there's only one here, I'm, I'm going to take it. <laughs> Alright, that thing grew, so we're going to go on our way. Now, the plants don't typically look like that. Sometimes they look different. Actually, I will go around and show you what a different version of that seed thing looks like. And now, this spot right here is very special. This is both for heroes and villains. Now, as you see this guy, um, I'm a villain, so I need to take care of the environmentalist guy. If I was a hero, I need to take care of the plant guy. It's a one-shot thing. So, when you see this over here, it's, you only get one point cred for it. Either you help the plant guy or you help the environmental guy, but it's for both sides, pretty much. So it doesn't matter who shares credit, they both can meet up there and take care of it. That's shared because you've helped your person. It's not about defending your side, it's about helping your side out. Now this is going to be a little bit different. You guys saw what this was on hero side. On villain side, I have to turn that into a giant uh, Venus flytrap that wants to eat things. Well, walking Venus flytrap. And then I have to protect him. Unlike Hero's side, where I helped him turn back to a human and had to protect him. Alright, now we're going to look for another node. Real quick. Hopefully one we haven't already ran into. There we go. Alright, this one is a defend one. We just have to defend that. Loosely, you see about two spawns, and then that's it. That's enough time for uh, it to fully grow up. Alright, so now it's just going to make a little. There we go little plants. Off to the next one. 
the season was really easy to beat, so I think everybody should at least give it a chance. Do it a couple times, make sure you get your stuff. Now this one's, um, I think this one's the most annoying one. It's it's really easy to do though, but I think it's kind of one of the more annoying ones. Not the most, but it's really annoying, I think. You add these plants to them, and then you have to protect them until they grow up. But by the time you get to your third one, there's already an enemy that's popped up trying to stop you. And loosely, while you're trying to fight this thing, a villain can come along and intervene on what you're doing. Or a hero can come along and intervene on what you're doing. It depends on what faction you are, of course. Like, for instance, that hero. Like, I already did my thing. He can't do nothing to me. It's, it's already done. <laughs> but he tried to, at least. Now, he might have got credit. I don't care if he would have got that credit, as long as, as long as it doesn't take away from me. You can go and grab it, too, and get credit. I don't care. But for of thumb is, I'm going to pretty much stick to my own place. Alright, um, from this point on end, it's just a whole bunch of copies, so I'll, uh, cut off the video and restart it. Alright, here goes, uh, one you guys haven't seen yet. This is the most annoying one. You gotta protect each and every one of these and help them all grow up while I'm trying to stop these guys. Rule of thumb is to use an encasement or entrapment on them, then activate everything. Or if you're a good DPS, just outright kill them fast. I'm a healer, so I'm just trapping pretty much. After that, then you can kill them and get credit for that too. As you can see, I already completed the open world, but I'm going to show you guys that seed again, how it looks differently. Alright, this is the seed thing again. Um, this one will grow up into a different type of plant, but just so you can see it differently. Alright, I'm also in DPS mode because I don't have time to fight these guys. Um, pretty much going to wipe them, activate the plant. As you can see, there are two of them this time. So that lets you know what type of plant you're going to get if there's more than just one. Alright, activate it twice and then you're done. So now you're going to see a uh, spiky little tree. There we go. It gives out the same babies too, so doesn't really matter what side you're on. Alright, that's it. sent you, right? Good. We cornered Swamp Thing in this sewer. Place some dispensers around the area, and my team will set them up to release our custom toxin. Just protect us and drag Stinky into the fumes. That should weaken him enough to let you pound him into a pulp. Once he's neutralized, we can administer the formula Poison Ivy provided. Let's do it. Poison Ivy. You and your allies will not succeed in defiling the sanctity of greed. Alright, it doesn't really change too much from hero side. What you want to do is get your movement mode on, go strictly over to where you have to go, keep going back, grab one. Oh, I will probably be able to grab three of them, I think. Your perverse belief even out that you can subvert the greed will be your rule. Okay, there are two scientists in the room. Watch them. Watch them carefully. There's no tank. Okay, the bombs release the toxin. So and your tank. Uh, Keep away from so yeah, as long as everybody's here in the center, you're good to go. So yeah, he's gonna heal and all these guys. Okay. Don't go near that sport cloud. Dispenser deployed. Keep moving, game. Keep moving. It's going to serve as fertilizer for the plants. The 
dispenser is set. Lead him into it. They're doing like one point of damage, uh, guys. Attention to the fact that the dispenser is set. Leave him into it. Keep away from those spores. It will make him stronger. Sometimes you have to really Good job. That. Take five and be ready for the next assignment. Alright, and that's the seasonal.